In April of 1980, the first case of HIV AIDS was identified. In March 2019, a second patient has been cured of HIV. 35 million people have lost their lives to HIV, and many more are still fighting. Fortunately, their fight isn't as dire as it once was. To put it simply, HIV is no longer the death sentence it used to be. In the past, total life expectancy for a 20-year-old person with HIV was just 39 years old. Now, the total life expectancy has bumped up to about 70 years. So, did we really find the cure to the notorious HIV, or did these patients just get super lucky? It turns out, it's a little of both. Twelve years ago, an HIV patient in Berlin received a bone marrow transplant of stem cells from a donor. Later on, the patient was completely cured of HIV. Upon investigations, researchers found that the donor had a rare genetic mutation that made him resistant to HIV, which was also passed on to the patient. That was the only documented case of HIV being cured, until now. A second patient with HIV has been cured after a bone marrow stem cell transplant from the donor with an HIV-resistant gene. Despite the good news, the possibility of turning this treatment into a replicable HIV cure is low. This is where the luck comes into play. Stem cell transplants are extremely risky. In fact, the chances of you dying of a bone marrow transplant are more likely than dying of HIV. Stem cell transplants are attempted only when there is a clinical reason to do them, such as cancer. Also, donors must be a genetic match to recipients, and people who naturally carry HIV-resistant genes are very few and far between. Only 1-2% to of people in the entire world have this genetic mutation, which limits the number of potential transplants. Yet, there is more hope. There may not be a cure soon, but HIV treatment has evolved tremendously since its outbreak. Today, nearly 21 million people around the world receive life-saving antiretroviral therapies, or ARTs. These therapies reduce the amounts of viral loads in the blood of patients to undetectable levels. Their immune systems can rebuild without being under constant siege, and their chances of passing the virus to others lower dramatically. ARTs are also necessary to prevent HIV from progressing to AIDS. And that's not all. Scientists have even greater ambitions. Some are developing vaccines, others are formulating long-acting treatments, and still more are working on finding a cure. But until we find a cure, the best way to ensure that you don't get HIV is to protect yourself.